Hello everybody, this is Solar Tiger with another Wind and Solar video. Today is Sunday the 6th of September and the weather has been very sunny. You can see the sun is just setting. It has been breezy on and off. You can see the Rutland 913 turning now. So I'm just going to take you inside because this is a video review of the of the Marlick HRSI charge regulator. You've seen this before, this is what I was using with the Rutland 913. So this is the Marlick HRSI charge controller. This is it here. Now I will tell you a bit about it. Okay, this is the front of the controller, and as you can see, there are two LED indicators. The one on the right is the status of the battery bank. So red is very low, orange is well charged, and green is fully charged. On the left, we have charging indicators. So the green LED is when it is charging the battery with a strong charge. When the battery needs just a to top up, the orange light comes on, and when the battery is full, the red light comes on. Basically it is regulating the wind generator. At the bottom is a start and stop switch for the wind generator. The normal position is down, in the up position, it it, can, it stops the wind charger from producing any power. It will just turn slowly, but not output any power. At the bottom here, we have a screw connector block for connecting the wind generator, solar panels, and the battery bank. This controller can handle 160 watts of solar panels as well, but you must use a blocking diode in series with the solar panels. So that is that. Okay, this controller cost about £70 new, but I will tell you some things about it. I'm just going to move it over here because it's easier for me. Right, you will know that before I had this over here in my in circuit with the Rutland 913. The Rutland 913 came in with on these cables, it came up here, it went through an analog ammeter, then through a digital watt meter, it measures volts, amps, watts, watt hours and amp hours, and then it went to the battery bank. I have obviously removed it now as you can see and I am just using a diode instead of the charge controller. I'll explain why in just a moment. Okay, you'll know that I charge my battery bank with wind, but most of my charging comes from solar. I have a SunSaver MPPT charge controller. It's a 15 amp charge controller. It's made by Morningstar, and outside it is hooked up to 200 watts of monoprint monocrystalline solar panels. So there's 200 watts of, of solar panels. There are two 12 volt panels wired in series and that is my Rutland 913 wind generator. Now these charging methods operate in parallel. I, both charging sources charge the same battery bank. Now this is where the problem comes. Well, most of my charging comes from solar, and I get a lot of power from the solar panels, and that will take the batteries over 13 volts. 13 volts is very typical, and when the sun comes out, the voltage will go over 14 volts, so that is that, and that is where the problems arise. Okay, at this point I will tell you that my battery 
the batteries in my battery bank are AGM batteries and the charging information sticker on the batteries say that for a full charge the voltage needs to rise to between 14.4 and 15 volts so on the solar I quite often get around to 14 and a half volts so that is good but when you come to the HRSI charge controller there comes the problem when the voltage of the battery bank goes over 13 volts this controller suddenly then regulates on the wind generator so if the batteries go over 13 volts from the solar the wind generator is cut off now that's not good because my batteries need between 14.4 and 15 volts for a full charge so as soon as the solar panels take the battery voltage over 13 volts this charge controller basically cuts out cuts the wind generator off so and it won't let any power into the batteries so that's why I have removed this I don't know of any way that you can adjust it in any way you can't you can't as it is unless you take it apart which I'm not going to do so that is this so that's why I have removed this charge controller and gone back to just using a diode because all that happens in when the sun when the sun's out and the batteries go over 13 volts the charging light here just goes red and that means that it's basically blocking any power coming from the wind generator and that's borne out by looking at the watt meter which you can't see now but when the red light comes on on the charge controller you get no power at all from the wind generator so that's why I have removed it so that is my experience of using the Barlick Rutland HRSI charge controller in parallel with using a solar power charging system so it will regulate before your batteries get a full charge so that is that so this is Solar Tiger saying thank you for watching and until next time goodbye thank you